Hello, I'm Keith Richard, Master Casting Instructor with Fly Fishers International. Once again, I'm here with A Hero USA to present to you a video on ingredients that are incorporated into fly lines. Oftentimes I'm asked, what are the makeup of fly line ingredients and how do they help or hinder the action of the fly line? Well, you'll notice that they possibly if you're making a floating line, they might put little micro balloons, which are little bitty glass, microscopic glass beads in, in the fly line. If they want to make a sinking line, they might put tungsten uh, in the fly line here. Um, little bitty, little bitty, bitty shards of tungsten to allow the fly line to sink. If they uh, or building a quality fly line, it'll certainly add to, to the cost. Uh, they may put UV inhibitors, as represented by these little green dots here, UV inhibitors to prevent the, the, the sun from deteriorating the fly line prematurely. They may put hydrophobic agents in it to repel any water uh, from absorption of the fly line, allowing it to float. Uh, they'll put stiffening agents in it. Uh, I mentioned in one of the other videos that if a fly line is too stiff or not stiff enough, it may not go through the guides. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're fishing, say, in Belize, and it's 105 degrees, and you've got that fly line laying on the deck of the boat all day while you're casting, the heat of the sun will soften that fly line. So they need to add stiffening agents in that fly line so that it won't get, won't, uh, so that it'll allow it to go through the uh, through the guides because that line will get so subtle it'll almost melt. It'll, it'll feel tacky as it tries to go through the guides and it simply won't be able to shoot any line. Uh, they may put softening agents in the fly line. Uh, for example, cold water or fresh water fly lines. Uh, if you're fishing and it's uh, 32 degrees and it's snowing outside in Denver and you're in a stream, the water's 45 degrees, 50 degrees, that fly line gets awfully cold, it's going to tend to stiffen up. If it gets too stiff, it won't go through the guides. Uh, so they have to keep softening agents in it. Um, they may put colorants in it. Typically, your lighter colored fly lines, now this is not a hard, fast rule, but typically your lighter colored fly lines are for uh, floating lines. And your darker, like brown or black, your darker colored fly lines are typically represent sinking fly lines. Uh, now they can make fly lines that sink that that's not the whole fly line doesn't sink just the tip of it may sink. Uh, other times they design the entire fly line to sink. It just depends on the purpose of the fly line. So th this is a list of some of the ingredients uh, I hope you find informative and useful in the, deciding which fly line you're going to buy next time. Thank you. This is Keith Richard again, Master Casting Instructor with A Hero USA. Thank you.